Hey guys, uh, just wanted to let you guys know that uh, OS X Lion is about to come out any moment now. Uh, maybe today, maybe tomorrow, maybe sometime this month at least. Um, I just wanted to let you guys know that you should do a couple of things to get ready before it comes out. Uh, because this is a pretty big update. Uh, it's not something that you should just jump into and install. So let's go through and make sure that you're ready so that when the time comes you can install it and have all the cool pretty new features. Um, the first thing you gotta check is to make sure you have a Core 2 Duo processor or better. Um, what you do is you go up to your little Apple symbol up there, hit about this Mac, and uh, mine is a Core 2 Duo in this case. Um, there's also probably like you know i7s, i5s, whatever. Um, but if it just says uh, Core Duo, uh, you may not be able to upgrade. It also requires at least four gigabytes of, or sorry, two gigabytes of RAM. I recommend four, um, but uh, it's most laptops should have at least two, uh, unless you've got an older MacBook from about 2006 or so. Um, but just make sure you get upgraded to at least uh, two gigs of RAM. Um, the next thing you've got to make sure of is that you have uh, at least, let's see, what is it, 10 gigs? Yeah, 10 gigabytes of hard drive space. So what you do is you go to your um, finder of choice. Uh, I like Pathfinder, but in this case I'm just going to use the standard finder. Um, right click or uh, control click on uh, your main hard drive, hit get info, and just make sure that uh, you've got at least 10 gigabytes of free uh, space left on your drive. The uh, next thing you want to do is make sure that you don't have any PowerPC applications installed. Um, on, a, on Snow Leopard and before that you can actually run some PowerPC applications on uh, your Intel based processor. So what you want to do is open up the terminal um, and type in this little command. I'll actually have this in the notes so you can just paste it in. Um, pretty simple command. What it's going to do is just take your system profiler, um, look at your application data type, and create a little text file uh, with all that information on it so that you can easily read it. Um, so just hit that. It should take a couple seconds to get all that information. Uh, and then all you've got to do is navigate to your desktop, like so, and open up that little text file. Um, now, that text file on my machine, it won't find anything, so I can't show you a, an example. But all you should have to look for is um, the quote um, for kind right here. It'll actually say... Um, this instead, kind, PowerPC. So uh, if you actually just type that in in quotes, uh, it should pull up and tell you whether or not you've got a piece of PowerPC software installed. The next thing you want to do is open up the good old disk utility, um, my personal friend, um, and you just click on your hard drive. I've got two hard drives in this Mac. Uh, but then what you want to do is actually hit verify disk. What that's going to do, it's not the most reliable way to check the health of your disk, but uh, it's going to do a lot better than not checking it. You just want to make sure that your disk is healthy and, and good and that you don't get any errors. If you do get any errors, try to do a repair disk and then verify it again uh, just to make sure that everything's all cleaned up. Also, if you do find errors on the disk, it's also a good idea to grab your Snow Leopard CD, pop it in your CD drive, boot to it, and use that disk utility to actually uh, verify the disk and repair it from there. Um, that just makes sure that you know, you're also running your OS from that drive while you're checking it and while you're repairing it. So some things it may not actually be able to repair uh, while the machine's booted up. Um, if you do get a lot of errors when that happens, um, it may be a good time and you know anytime you do a major upgrade to the OS it's also a good time to actually upgrade your hard drive we'll talk about that here in just a little bit um, but that's just something to keep in mind the next thing you want to do is to back up your Mac um, 
If you uh, don't do that already, it's definitely a good idea to do so. Um, and shame on you for not doing it. Uh, the, uh, you know, the best thing that a lot of people recommend to do is to use Time Machine. Um, I actually like this. It's called Carbon Copy Cloner. Um, what you can do, uh, this lets you actually clone your hard drive from your machine onto another, mach onto another hard drive. Uh, so that way you have a bit for bit backup of your full OS install. So if anything happens, you can uh, recover from that backup and be exactly where you were before uh, you started the whole thing. It's a good idea to do that. You know, I, I actually use this as my main backup. Uh, but it's also a good idea to do it, you know, anytime you do a major OS upgrade or anything like that. The last thing I recommend to do is to make sure all of your applications are up to date. Um, there's going to be a lot of applications in the App Store that probably update the day that, uh, you know, Lion is actually released. So it's a good idea to just make sure all that stuff's download, downloaded, uh, get the latest versions of Flash, get the latest versions of you know, all of your browsers and, you know, do your Photoshop updates, all that stuff. Just make sure you're updated to the gills. Um, also, you know, one last time before you do so, go up to your little Apple logo, hit software update, and just, you know, double check that you have all of your current updates for the OS. Uh, just to be on the safe side, it's always a good idea to have the latest and greatest versions of everything before you uh, move to a major release of the OS. Um, so now you're ready to go into the App Store and download OS X Lion. You can go ahead and install it and uh, let me know what you think. I will hopefully start showing off some of the features once I'm able to um, for Lion. And uh, if you have any questions, just let me know. Um, the third, the actual second way, this is the way I personally install uh, new operating systems on my machine. Um, you can do a full clean install of Lion. Uh, I don't recommend that to most people. Um, but if you go out and if you've got your Snow Leopard disk, you know, after you back everything up, pop that Snow Leopard disk in, do a clean wipe, no applications, just the standard startup stuff of uh, Lion. Then go into a software update, get the latest version, and then do a, a full clean install of Lion. That will be just about the cleanest, and uh, your machine will probably run a little bit better if you do it that way. Then you can go back and reinstall all of your applications. It will do all of its updates and stuff like that. Uh, but that's probably the best way to do it. But uh, Lion is actually designed to do as an in-place uh, in upgrade. So uh, it should work pretty well as long as you've done those few couple steps uh, with an old version of Snow Leopard that has a lot of stuff installed on it and everything. Um, yeah, so if you have any questions, let me know. You can hit me up on Twitter, just uh, at Donald Sayers, uh, or you can uh, use my nice little uh, computer repair service. It's iFixie. Just go to iFixie.com and give me a call if you have any questions or need help upgrading anything. And uh, yeah, enjoy uh, Lion.